Previously, I made a video showing you how to remove the background, and I just showed you how you could take just yourself with no background and maybe put it in the corner of the video and keep talking. Well, what we're going to do today is I'm going to just do several short videos and poses um, you know, in different positions and show you how you can take that background and place yourself on the top of a mountain or on a rooftop or something like that. And what you're going to do is the same process, and I'll go through it real quick once. And then I'll show you the three different videos that I'm going to make where I make myself smaller in the video after I remove the background and then I put myself in um, one of those positions like on a mountain or something. So kind of cool, but I wanted to have this background because I'm in my bedroom. I think sometimes when people start editing or making videos, they think they have all they have to have all this fancy stuff. And I'm sure the more fancier stuff you have, the better your videos are. But if you're a beginner, just use your phone use a cheap editing system and right now Canva is very very cheap I do have a different one but I'm starting to use Canva more and I'm in my bedroom this is a bedroom I'm, I'm nothing fancy I didn't go out and and you know get all this white furniture make it look beautiful which is nice but you don't have to do that and if you feel like you need that in the background you can do that I could take what I'm saying to you right now and I could make a nice background a nice office for free. I don't have to go out and buy all the furniture. So think of that way too. If that's important to you or if you want to be outside um, showing this fishing gear or something, you don't have to go to the lake. Sometimes you can pretend it's back there. So think outside the box and again have fun and let's get started. We're using Canva and we're using, we're removing the background. I did put the link for the one I did previously just in case you want that to see that one. It was done a lot slower um, that was actually my first time doing it, and this time it's going to go a little bit quicker. I'll go through the steps, but what I want you to see in this video is what you can do with your background removed and um, resize your body. See, the, um, the first one I just did like the upper body, and today I did some video of my whole body in different positions, and we'll see what we get. You do need a pro Canva account. Just type in www.canva.com. And usually they will give you the offer of a free trial. That's how I got mine. I did not use anybody's link. I just happened to um, see it pop up one day and I used it and I've never gone back to the free account. You're going to type in video. Just go here where it says video. Now to be able to take the background off, the video has to be 90 seconds or less. You see how quickly that came up. Now what I'm going to do is go into uploads here on the left. I previously have made three short videos. They're all like 21 seconds with my phone. I loaded them onto my desktop and now I'm going to upload them into here and I'm going to show you how to do that. I won't go through the steps for all three of them, but I will for the first one and then I'll, I'll do all three. But I'm going to upload file. It's going to go to my desktop and the video is number 62. I'm going to slide down and look for it. I remember right here and then it'll upload. While the other two are uploading, I want you to see what I did. I had to hit the a button, you know, walk back to the bed. I'm just showing you that how primitive the video is. I wanted to show myself sitting on something um, so that I can, um, my goal is to try to put myself up on a building or up on a bridge or something like that. And, and I can cut that off. That was kind of stupid to lean back like that, but I can cut that off. I can trim the video, but basically I wanted myself sitting in a position like that. The other two videos are actually uploading. I thought I'd try three at once. Okay, so what you're going to do here, edit video and then remove background. It's that simple. Remember, it has to be 90 seconds or less. So I'm going to let that remove. It will take a few seconds and then I'll come back and you'll see what it looks like. I want to very quickly point something out. Yes, I went to upload and I uploaded three at once and I went to remove this background and it's not removing because over here, See where this blue water is floating? It said once all the uploads are done, then it will remove it. So the canvas doing one operation at a time. I thought I would save some time, but it is taking a little bit longer. Watch that though. That's that's what's happening. It is loaded. Now what I want to do is cut off this front part. See if I play it, it'll it, it's got me moving there and getting into position. And that's what I want. I want that part there, right there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is bring this back. And I'm going to say cut and all my cutting is going to take, turn that off down here, ah, pause it. All right. And at the top is where I'm doing my cutting. So I'm going to cut about right here. Cause see, I want, I want my, I can see right here where I'm sitting. 
Okay, and then on the back end, I'm going to cut off where I went to get back up again. Remember to turn off the video. So I've kind of right there. And then you want to hit this little button. It's over here to the right up in this corner. It says done. And you want to click that. You can't see it because I didn't have my screen share all the way over. Now let's find a cool background. Since I want to sit on a roof or something, I'm going to pull this down, make it small, maybe put it up in here. And let's see if I can find a building or something for me to sit on. I went under backgrounds and then up here I'm going to type building and see what happens. Now you could be real creative and you can take your own picture of maybe your house and you can put that in the background as well. Just upload a different background. Okay, I had to find a building that had a, a flat roof. If I went to do this again, I probably would take a picture of my own roof or the barn or something like that. It would look more authentic, but I made myself small and there you go. And, and you can, like I said, you, the, the point of this is you make yourself smaller right here. I can take my, that image and I can make it big. See, I can make it a bigger person sitting up there or smaller to make it more, look more authentic. And there you go. I can change the background. One more thing I want to try before we get off of this. I was looking for a swing set and I really couldn't find it. I thinking, what else could I um, sit on? And right here it says generate your own under AI image generator. So go ahead and click that. And I'm just going to say swing set. I'm trying to just think of things that I can put that body on um, just to show it how this works. Now notice too, I'm sitting forward. So I have to have a picture where I could be forward. So this one is basically the only one that'll work right here. We'll bring that one over. Now the next problem brought too many, you have to change your position. So this is in uh, the forward. I want to bring this to the forward position, go up to the top and make sure you position that one as forward and then position the other one as backwards. When you hit the position button, you can go over here. I'm doing overlapping. So I want that one to be underneath. So we're going to just pull it down like that. And now I'm on top. As you can see, I'm going to make this bigger. Pull it out as much as I can. Pull this, whoops, pull it back up. And instead of getting on the top, I'm going to try it here on the swing set. Let's see what happens. And there you go. I look like I'm sitting right there on that swing set. And here you go again. This one I don't like as much because I can't see the whole swing set, but there you go. I am sitting on the top. So there you go. You can do a lot of things with that. Get yourself and, and you can use it any time in different videos. I can take that audio out or I can leave it in. All right. I'm going to do the other ones very quickly and then show you some of the fun things or positions that you can use in your um, removing your background and then save them and use them in different videos. They're just little short clips. As I show this to you, I want to show you a mistake that I made earlier. This is another um, position that I did. Again, in my bedroom, I took all the background out and I put just some trees in the back. Um, instead of hitting the video up here, like I was in your other example, I apologize for that. You want to hit it down here and look, then the video will play and you don't have those lines and things. So um, also when you upload it, that will happen as well. You can insert this into your editing tool and make part of your video, um, you're just going to put that in there. Now over here to the left, I also was playing around with the Magic Media, which is the AI um, background maker or video maker. It's under Elements. So when you hit Elements here on the left, you're going to see right here where it says AI Image Generator. And I went right here, Generate Your Own. And these came up. Now, the first time I did this, I tried to do a video, but I there really wasn't anything moving. It was kind of the same background and just sat there. So they did say videos are new and they're still working with them. So play around with it and see if you can get something to work. But these are just some backgrounds that came up and you can see what I had on that one video. Here's another one that I did. Let me go ahead and play that one. Again, if you just get your phone out and get a tripod and get your whole, make sure your whole body's image is in it. And what I did is I turned the um, phone around so that I could see what I was doing and I made sure that my whole body was in it. Just keep it less than 90 seconds and there's so many different things that you can do. And I redid the first one as well. I went ahead and found a barn. This is not my barn. I wish it was. 
And there you go. See, you can just get yourself sitting on a bridge or somewhere up in a cloud, whatever you want. It's a lot of fun. I hope you learned something new today and have fun with it. I have it more um, broken down deep by detail. Like I said in that previous video, I put the link at the beginning. If this one isn't quite detailed enough, but once you start doing it, it'll be second nature to you. You have a blessed day and make some videos and have some fun.